Hey all, it's Ed, just doing a quick status update on Experimental Airlines and the current fleet and future plans. I've got a series of planes that you can see, you're familiar with, behind me. And I've vowed myself to make 10 designs that you can copy and I'll do more or less detailed build videos on each of those so that they're proven designs in the fleet that you can reliably build and know that they'll fly and do what they're promised to do. You can see there's quite a variety of these planes that can be built out of Dollar Tree foam board or other foam board, colored packing tape, hot glue, Gorilla Glue, and a couple of other ingredients. I'll start with the Axon, which is a great all-around plane. It's very easy to build and extremely easy to fly. It's good for light FPV, training, or just kind of flying around and having fun. It's got a 60-inch wingspan as designed, but that can be lessened for additional performance. The fuselage length is 36 to 42 inches and can be varied for different payloads and usages and it's got a double deck design here where the batteries can be placed in the nose here many different sizes and then the cargo or payload can be placed in the upper deck uh, safely behind the nose in case it crashes this nose can be replaced landing gear are optional I've used rubber bands to fix my wing but there are many different ways to do that and the pusher motor although being a little bit less efficient and noisier it's much safer and uh, it's not likely to damage it on impact. Here's a version of the Axon I call the Maxon. It's scaled up in every dimension about 50%. So it's got a larger cord, longer fuselage, a three inch instead of a two inch tubular fuselage, upper and lower decks. And this is meant to carry a GoPro in the front and all the uh, OSD and uh, long range receiver gear back in here, GPS and so forth. Put beefier landing gear and it does quite well. The wing does collapse optionally, or this can be built as a one-piece wing. Next is a noob tube, which is probably the easiest plane in my fleet to build with an airfoil, that is. It's got a 30-inch wingspan, 30-inch length fuselage. It's a straight tube. It's got a one-piece, simple arm and wing airfoil. I've glued mine on, but rubber bands work well or any other technique. It's got a large space for battery and electronics in the front. Very simple design, a little sporty for a beginner plane, uh, but a breeze to build. I've been really impressed with some of the improvements guys have made with this plane, putting on landing gear, uh, upgraded power plants, larger wingspan. Those are some of the ways to get out a little bit more performance and provide a little bit more docile uh, platform to fly. But this has been a ton of fun, and it's a plane you can just kind of keep in your car and take it out of the trunk and give it a chuck whenever you feel like it. The EDF cousin to the Noob tube is the Fugly Jet, which has the same single piece 30 inch arm and wing design glued on in this case. And uh, 64 millimeter EDF and a very straightforward fuselage tube. Also, very easy to build. As EDFs go, I find it quite easy to fly, but it does require a little bit more skills than a prop driven plane of similar uh, plan form and size. Then there's this very simple one piece foam board design, Fast Delta. It's a single piece of Dollar Tree foam board, pre-covered with packing tape, with the vertical stabilizers uh, bent and fixed in place, and all the electronics mounted on this uh, single piece of foam board here I refer to as a keel in the build video. It's very simple and light, and extremely inexpensive to build this. Very fast and nimble, probably not a best first plane, uh, but for the price it's kind of hard to beat if you want a zippy little plane with either an EDF power plant or a tractor propeller. Then we have the Photon Hotliner Motor Glider. It's got a 60 inch wingspan, two sections of arm and wing. I've, I've chosen a five inch airfoil cord, although that's variable. And the fuselage is one and a half sections of tubular, tubular fuselage. So it is 45 inches long. The power plant choice is really up to the builder. I've used a 2200 kV motor with a small prop just to reduce drag. Uh, winglets are optional good for visibility, maybe good for aerodynamics. This is also a very simple plane to build, uh, probably still my favorite all-around plane. Here's my next up-and-coming design I call the Synapse. It's a flying wing design with the tubular fuselage section. Uh, this is not an original. There are a lot of other versions of this out there and I've learned a lot from watching some other guys and just making some finer tweaks for the EA uh, fleet. I'll do a formal build video on this as soon as I get it dialed in and extensively tested and figure out the best ways to do things. Uh, but so far this is meant to be my medium range uh, FPV plane. We'll accept a camera on the top here. It can be hand launched and I'm going to try some landing gear as well. 
the wings do fold in half and the vertical stabilizers fold under the wing for more compactness if you desire to build it that way. So that's six planes so far and I vowed to do ten for the EA fleet. One of the next ones I'd like to do is of course the peace drone with which a lot of guys are familiar and many have been built. Of the six that I've built, they've all been crashed or given away, so I don't have one to show right now, but do look out for that for a build video. To round out the last three planes in the fleet, I'd like to do a twin motor cargo plane, much like this one, with a proper build video. And this is a 45 inch wingspan, 36 inches long, uh, will easily fit in your car, but has a really pretty respectable cargo capacity and the ability to drop uh, parachutes, if you so desire with the release mechanism that I've detailed in another build video. Number nine would be an amphibious plane, which will be a, quite a challenge. And number 10, I'm thinking about a biplane or a short takeoff and landing plane. So I'll be looking for some feedback. I just continue to look forward to the improvements and modifications that different builders have made on these planes. And I think that's the way the community grows and I really look forward to your videos and forum posts. Thanks as always for tuning in and watching my videos and as well for your feedback and comments and improvements on these planes. And I look forward to the next design coming up soon.